Hello Launch Cart users, this is Joshua and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can control your inventory and allow the Launch Cart platform to manage your inventory, track your inventory, and then allow even allow your visitors to get updates when you have products that are uh, reinstock. So let's get into it. It's actually very simple to do with the Launch Cart platform. Log into your Launch Cart dashboard and go to your products inventory section and you should see a page that looks like this. Now, Depending on your current setup, you might already have products listed in here. I do not because I have not enabled any products for inventory yet. So let's do that now. The very first thing we'll need to do is go to the products section. You'll need to have products created for this and we'll need to edit a product and enable inventory tracking. So I'm just going to edit this product. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to turn on track quantity. Okay. Now this particular product does have variants, so if I scroll down to my variant boxes, you'll see that my inventory amounts are shown here. You can control your inventory amounts from the product page, but you can also control them from the inventory management page, which we'll be doing for today's video. So as long as I've turned this uh, box to track quantity, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to do it for one more product, so let me go ahead and edit the backpack product. And I'm going to also enable this one for inventory tracking as well. And let me just go ahead and hit save. Okay, so now I've done that. Let's go back to the inventory page. And you'll see that we now have two different products. And I can expand these products because these products do have variants. And you can see that I have a lot more options. So let me just walk you through this. It's actually very, very simple with LaunchCart. So LaunchCart can keep track of how much inventory you have or don't have for a product. And as you continue to sell that product, LaunchCart will remove available inventory. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that these products have available inventory. Currently, the system thinks they have zero uh, quantities available. So if I expand this one, you can see that it shows up more options. And I have the ability for two settings here. I can tell the system what to do when inventory runs out and I can also uh, add or remove inventory. So for this example I'm going to add inventory and I'm going to go ahead and add 10 uh, available inventory for this. Now I'm going to tell the system what should happen when I run out of inventory. That's what this settings for right here. I have three options. I can either continue selling this product even if my inventory runs out. I can stop selling this product or I can stop selling and send updates. And this third option is really cool because what this allows to happen is if I select this option, when this inventory turns back to zero, the launch cart website is gonna change. When a visitor goes to your product page to buy this particular product, they're gonna get a message that says, hey, there's no available inventory, you can't buy it now, but you can subscribe with your email address and get updates next time there is available stock. They'll put in their email address, they'll submit the form, and that's it. And next time when you come back here and you change this from zero, which you know it will become a zero after it gets sold out, and you add any amount of inventory here, it will then send an email to that user automatically, letting them know that this product is back in stock. So that's how easy it is, and those are what these options mean here. Once again, you can control all of this from the actual product editor, but I like to do it from the inventory management screen because you could just you know edit all of your products here and it's much easier and much faster. So let me just, I'm gonna add some more quantity to this, just so now it's 20, okay? And then let's go ahead and edit this product down below. So I'm gonna expand this product. Now this is a t-shirt product, but there's many different variants available. You can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different variants that we can control. So we have settings for each individual variant for this particular product. So we are going to manipulate some of these a little bit differently. For this first example, this t-shirt white extra small, we are gonna tell the system to stop selling this when we run out of inventory. And let's go ahead and add some inventory. This one's gonna be 10 right here, okay? Now for this product, we have t-shirt white small. We are gonna say we want to continue selling and we're gonna add five for this one. And I'm just really just making some stuff up here. You would add the correct amounts for each one of your products. 
okay? But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add a bunch here, just so you can see that if you do have products and if you do have variants, you can control them all differently. So if I scroll over here, here's what's happening. It says for this main t-shirt product, you have a total of 34 in inventory and available to sell. This particular product, you only have 10. This one you have five. This one you have 10 and this one you have nine. Now, once again, as customers begin to purchase these products from your websites or from your store, this number will go down automatically. All of these numbers will go down as somebody buys these products. And in this particular product's case, once this gets to zero, it will no longer be able to be sold on the website and there'll be a message on your product page that says this product is unavailable. This product, however, if they try to buy this variant, it will still allow them to buy this product. And this number actually could go into the negative, um, or actually it would go into the negative because if this product was sold out or at zero and someone bought, this number would be negative one. And if a second person bought, it would become negative two and so on. Then down here, you have this product has available of 10. And when it becomes zero, it's gonna stop selling, but there is gonna be a form where the user can input their email address and they can get updates when this product comes back in stock. This product is very similar. There's only nine available right now, but when they become sold out, it's not going to allow any more to be purchased, but they could subscribe for updates. So that's how easy this system is. And what's nice about it is if you come to this screen, you can search by all your available products. You can search by your SKU, your vendor, your type, and so on and so on. You can see a list of all your products. Any products that are in the red means that you are um, you have basically no stock left. It's, it's, it's either zero or it's negative products because you've been selling. Now you might be wondering, why would I continue to sell a product that's out of stock? Well, some people, they continue to get stock so fast, maybe every week, that they know they can sell products even if they don't have any right now because they might get some in the mail in a few days that, that they can start shipping out to their customers. So in certain scenarios, it makes sense for people to continue selling even if they have negative quantities available or zero quantities available. So that's why you'd have that options. Uh, another thing that you could do is if you go to settings, you can actually edit your out of stock pop-up and you can also edit the email template that gets sent out um, if you are using the feature where people can subscribe for updates. So you click on these buttons to edit those individual things. But that's how easy it is to use our inventory management feature available in your LaunchCard account. I'm Joshua. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.